All right, hello collectors. Spooky Pursuity back here with you. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. Um, I went on the A24 site, website, to their shop page, and I had to get me the director's cut of Midsummer, Midsummer. Um, I got it in 4K, and it came in this box. Obviously, I took off my address there, but even even the custom box that it comes in with all the different iterations of A24 for A24 films, that's pretty freaking cool. So, that being said, um, let's open it up. Okay, so there was just some tape there. I just had to cut that. And my goodness, look at this. Look at the way it just comes here. All right. So obviously on top we have this really cool, oh wow. <laughs> that being one of the first things I see is kind of creepy because I'm looking at it upside down. This, this woman with a googly eye and middle of her head. So what is, what is this? A24. What is, what is this? I mean, okay, wow, that was unique. Um, I get this really cool slipcase from A24 with that nice kind of, ooh, look at that shimmer, that shine there. This, they literally just, and this is imprinted. Ooh, there's some, there's some embossing on this thing. Look at how classy this is. This was just for my packing slip. <laughs> that is incredible. All right, so obviously, this comes with uh, just some sort of little promotional card. Um, I'm going to have to check real quick to see what movie this is. When I was on the site, this a similar image to this was on the site as well. So obviously, it's a film that uh, A24 is involved in. All right. So I looked it up just so I could, you know, properly pay some credit here. But uh, yep, this is everything everywhere all at once that is the name of the film that uh this little postcard here is advertising for looks pretty cool i don't know if there is even a film that a24 has been involved with that i can say is not cool i don't think that's possible call me biased but cool awesome so this is the director's cut of Ari Aster's Midsummer from, you know, A24, of course. We just got done talking about them. I got the 4K edition because um, it's kind of grinded my gears for a little bit that there wasn't a 4K edition uh, for the film. They have the Japanese release is a 4K and it has a beautiful steelbook. And I still plan on getting that steelbook. I may actually put my 4K uh, disc from here into that steelbook when I come across it at some point. Because that steelbook is expensive right now. Uh, it, is, it is not cheap. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people want it. But, uh, you know... Best Buy or somewhere in the United States or even from A24. Maybe Shout Factory could be involved in something like that, you know? Like, real quick, let's just talk about the fact that, you know, not only did we not get a 4K edition of Midsummer uh, for, like, three or four years after the film came out, but no steelbook for it. Now... I'm going to kind of wax poetic for a second here, but that also happened to Robert Eggers' films as well. And and they, they, there's, they kind of parallel each other pretty well, Ari Aster films and Robert Eggers' films. Uh, obviously, Robert Eggers' films, um, the first one that he became known for was The Witch. The Witch. Now, that one was, you know, like universally had positive you know, uh, thoughts about it. Whereas, uh, The Lighthouse, you know, it's still kind of, I feel like The Lighthouse is still something that is where Midsummer was when it started, which is like, 
people in the know who really liked that stuff already loved the film. And then maybe in later years, it'll, you know, it, it's already memed, but <laughs> maybe it'll become more popular in, in later years. Um, but, okay, which was able to get a 4K release in America, but it didn't get a steelbook. Very sad. Um, Ari Aster's film, Hereditary, also pretty much universally uh, positive response for that film, did get a 4K release, but no, no US steelbook. So I had the Blu-ray steelbook for The Witch, uh, from Zavi and the steelbook uh, from Zavi for The Lighthouse. So I don't know really what I'm getting at here. I'm just saying that they're really screwing up on these things, man. Like for America, like these are great films. And some of the releases in this country that do get steelbooks kind of blows my mind when like, I feel like a lot of people who collect like horror uh, movies, they're all about the fucking, oh, I swore, but here I am being passionate. They're all about the physical media, you know, take it home. It's kind of got that nostalgic element to it, you know, uh, being a horror fan is not just, it's, it's not just saying you're a horror fan, you know, you've got the stuff in your house that, you know, it, it kind of helps define you. You know, it's a, it's a part of you. It's a lifestyle type of deal. But anyways, so when A24 announced that they were doing a 4K version of Midsummer, uh, it just made me so happy. Made me so happy. It's been out for a little while, but I haven't really had the extra cash, cash I guess, to just kind of justify Picking it up, it's like $45. It's not outside the bounds of what a regular steelbook release at Best Buy is these days, to be honest. When I first saw the film, you know, and it was in 1080, it was uh, Blu-ray, it, it's, it's so vivid. And the effects in the film, you know, all like the hallucination uh, scenes and everything, I, I, I just thought to myself, this needs to be in 4K. It doesn't take anything away from the film seeing it, you know, in 1080p. But, like, sometimes you just see a film and you're like, this... Just like just like the movie Across the Universe. Uh, you know, just movies that have these bright, vivid elements about them really benefit from that little extra pop that uh, 4K resolution can give them. But alright, you know what? I've kind of waxed poetic enough, haven't I? I've kind of talked you guys' ears off. And the caption in this video is not going to be Spooky Pursuity talks about things he wants done and how he wants them done. We're going to take a look at this. The Midsummer Director's Cut release here. So, ooh, okay, so we turn it around here. Okay, so right off the bat, before we take all of this plastic wrap off here. We're taking a look at our Midsummer title, Director's Cut. We've got all this great pagan um, you know, graphic in the background there. We've got the triangle. We've got the reeds uh, hanging on the bottom side of the triangle there, and it's all held up by a pole. And obviously we've got all sorts of, um, you know, earthy decorative, kind of ferns coming off it and there's the bottom an Ari Aster film A24 obviously we have this really bright kind of Harga yellow that's kind of like their team color <laughs> the cults color um, yellow there and we'll take a closer look at that when we take off that uh, wrap there and this is what we're looking at on the inside oh I can't wait to open this up this is what it looks like on the side, on the top, on the bottom. All right, let's open this up. Okay, so I've taken the uh, plastic wrap off. I gave it to my cat. She likes, she, she loves delivery day as much as I do. 
I'll take stuff out of the box and take the wrap off and then she'll play with the box and the wrap and then I will enjoy the actual product that is in the box. So this is a cloth bound case. So I just really wanna get some texture here. As you can see, ooh, look at that. That is some nice texture. So we got this cool cloth bound case. Um, what this is, if I can do this with one hand, there we go, okay. So I don't do too many unboxing or review videos. So this has been a little bit tangential <laughs> and uh, it's not been the, uh, I'm not used to the format as much. I'm usually used to like the, the quicker videos, but I really, I really like sharing stuff with you guys. So put this off to the side. This is our cloth bound case. So we got that there. Now this is a 62 page booklet on the front here. Yes, we do. Oh, that is nice. You know what? That looks like it's embossed, but it's not. It just looks really nice. It just kind of, doesn't it? It looks like it pops right off. I don't know how they do that. Magnets, man, how do they work? So obviously we have a really nice kind of pagan, um, you know, floral pattern on the front here. This is like a maypole possibly, very cool. This is like some corn or something. These are probably <laughs> crazy herbs that you can smoke and just get all sorts of effed up on. So this video is definitely going to not be for kids because I keep using the F word. All right, so there we go. We can open that up like that. Probably not supposed to have done that, but I don't really, I don't know. It doesn't make, it, does, it would not make sense to me if it wasn't able to open all the way. So I'm just going to imagine that it's done like this on purpose because I don't, I don't think I see any glue. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Hopefully I didn't screw anything up. All right. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Wow. Do I even, would I even need to get that 4K steelbook from Japan? Look at this thing. Oh my God. The disc just itself looks amazing ultra hd blu-ray a 24 midsummer director's cut 4k oh my goodness and uh, just the way it blends seamlessly with the booklet the the graphic art on <laughs> my goodness this is awesome i'm very excited the graphic art on the um the 4k disc it looks amazing obviously we got little Florence Poe there. Oh, can you believe it? Just a couple years ago, Florence Poe was doing this film and just, not that she started from, you know, you know, she wasn't completely obscure at that point, but she's just blown up, man. And I am so happy for her. So happy for her. So yeah, we've got this 62 page booklet here. Uh, we've got some a whole bunch. Ooh, what are we looking at here? Table of contents. Ooh, we've got a foreword that's been uh, penned by Martin Scorsese, so that's very cool. Can you believe that? Martin Scorsese writing a little piece about Ari Aster. That is awesome. Now, um, this is gonna give us a whole bunch of artwork, and that's by Ragnar Persson or Person. Please don't um, don't skin the fool if I got that wrong. So obviously I'm not gonna take away the experience uh, from you guys if you, you know, end up getting this yourself. And I just kind of want to give you guys an overview. Oh, obviously we've got some really great graphics in here from the film. Definitely not for children now at this point. <laughs> wow, okay. Interesting. Great graphic art, great graphic art. Wow, bunch of great concept art here uh, for the film or inspired by the film. Wow. 
This is incredible. Incredible. There's there's like six there's sixty two pages of this stuff, guys. Oh, <laughs> all right. We we've now we've now uh, gone past the point of filleting human body parts. So now we're now we're on to herbs, right? Let's let's just transition into herbs, I guess. It's very cool. Oh wow, awesome. Anyways. So that's everything that comes with this and it ends with, you know, of course there's a bear. It's just a bear. No, it's not a bear. Not just a bear anyways. Oof, right? Okay, so, wow, what a great set. So I thought going into this that, you know, this would just be, you know, a really cool thing to have because I specifically wanted the 4K disc and, um, but to be honest, now I don't think I need to put this 4K disc in a steel book. I did do that with, um, cause The Witch by Robert Eggers, uh, that did not get a steel book in America. So I took the Blu-ray from Zavi and I stored my American 4K copy of it in that Blu-ray steel book. I think I did the, I actually did the same thing with the American 4K version of Ari Aster's first film, Hereditary. But you know what? I might just keep this in here. The only thing is that it's, it's a little, it's a little big. It's a little big for the shelf. It's a little big for the shelf. So I might have to come up with uh, some other tactic for it, but wow. This was an awesome buy, and to get all this for like 45 bucks is not bad. Especially, it's coming right from the company, too. Like, you just go on to a24.com, and you can look at their stuff, and this this is the type of stuff they're doing for you. My God. <laughs> they gave me this classy-ass slipcover just for my, my, my packing slip. All right. So as I'm actually going to watch this tonight, uh, tomorrow's my birthday. So this was kind of like a birthday gift to myself. I'm going to watch this in 4K tonight. Super excited about that. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I hope I didn't, you know, <laughs> hope I didn't ruin your uh, experience here. Hope you'll forgive my uh, my gaffes that I've had in, uh, in making this video. But just wanted to share this with you guys. And uh, it's been a good time. It's been a good time, right? We, we did all right. We got through it. All right. Talk to you guys later. Stay spooky.